YouTubers, welcome back to El Rabbit's Barbecue. Today we're making uh, homemade hamburgers, old timey hamburgers. Got a hot pan going here. I already made a couple of meat patties, and um, let me show you how we put these together. Let me finish putting a little bit of black pepper on that, and then some uh, salt and pepper. That's all I put on it. Yeah. Leave it there. I got these over here on this on this griddle. Uh, they're staying warm, and I'm fixing to make mine. This this one's a special one. <clears throat> but uh, it's eighty twenty chuck, ground chuck, or whatever you call it. The only thing we use around here, or I use around here, a little bit of salt and pepper. Since it's just for me, I like it. Plenty of pepper, plenty of salt. The regular old table salt. And, uh, We'll be right back as soon as uh, this, this other burger is out of my way and we'll go on to this one. Okay, my other burgers are pretty much done. And uh, that was probably about a half pound burger. And uh, let me cook this. And we'll assemble it here in a minute. Be right back. Okay, folks. Uh, once I got the patty in, I, what I do is I'll take it, make a little indention in it, and I do that to all my patties. Whatever you do, I imagine everybody knows how to cook burgers, but what I, whatever you do, don't take a spatula and press on it, because then all your juices will just come out. Another sign is you want it to go. Once you see that, that dark green start to come up towards the top, it's probably ready to flip, which is where we're at now. And you want it to have a nice caramelized crust just like that. That, to me, is the perfect burger, especially because it's not an inch thick, and uh, it'll still be nice and just to the point to where it's uh, cooked or well done, but... From this point on, you can cook it to, you know, medium, rare medium, or medium, uh, medium well. As long as I'm past medium, I'm good. Medium well, my burgers, sometimes I'll let them cook a little longer. Just personal preference for everybody out there. Anyway, we'll be right back. Right over here, we're going to have some beans. These are just out of the can, and they're... Uh, Yes, bushes, baked beans, or some shit like that. But you know, you know, uh, baked beans. There we go. We'll be back. Okay, folks. We're gonna start off making this burger. Put some le uh, some iceberg lettuce. We'll put some tomatoes. Put my meat on it. And let's go over here for a second. Put this burnt, I mean this uh, egg. We'll get some put on there. I'm going to put my mustard, and just a little bit because I'm, I'm going to use some good old mayonnaise. I only do these to, with the ones that are going to get egg on them. 
here to cook some couple pickles. Some peppers. Gotta have some peppers. Let's go over there and get that in. Pop it off the bay and grab it here. Friday, Mr. Post. Just take it over here. And there's your sandwich. There's your hamburger. And then we're gonna, for the sides, we're going to go with some baked beans. Have a close or keep rolling. That's uh, well, I hadn't made a video in so long, it's like I already forgot how to do it. Just want to remind everybody to have a safe and happy new year. Well, y'all done did have a good new year from this point on, and uh, I appreciate y'all checking me out. I want to slice into that burger, but I really don't want to. I'll just take some stills here in a minute. Once again, this is Joe Rabbit from No Rabbit's Barbecue. Christian's running the camera for me. I sure appreciate it. And uh, I appreciate everybody really tuning in and uh, checking me out once again. Thank you.